just entered the Kern River Canyon Gorge, or whatever you want to call it. The roar of the river, pretty strong. I think it's about 6,000 CFS flowing right now, from what I remember. Let's zoom in on the river flow. So I checked the, the CDC website and it said Kern, they're releasing about five to 6,000 CFS out of the Kern, out of Lake Isabella. And there's about that or more flowing into Lake Isabella right now. Uh, I didn't check this morning, but um, it should be about the same. So we're headed up to Kern Canyon and we'll check out Lake Isabella and the Kern River that where it's flowing into the lake. Here's Walker Pass. Let's read about the history of this place. is famous about Walker Pass is sorry for the wind noise the PCT Pacific Crest Trail it looks like it over there going north and then here's the part going south I'm about 5,800 feet hiking up from the truck, which is, I don't know, I can't barely see it, but uh, down there, let's see, down there at the campground. There's Owens Lake, you can see it better here, how much water's in it. Alabama Hills. And there's the mighty Sierras. So that I think is Langley right there. That's the first 14,000er on the well, it's the most southern 14,000er in the Sierras. A lot of snow up there. It's going to be running off all for a long time, I think. Okay, I was shooting for 6,000 feet, and this is 6,040 according to my iPhone. And it looks like a, I'm going to climb right up to that little bluff right here, but yeah, it looks like it just goes down by the creek down there. Let's go up here and check it out. I didn't see any signs for trailhead for Langley from this side there's a trail you know that starts at Horseshoe Meadows but there's also one that starts from the valley here 
I was thinking that the trailhead's probably right up there. But, uh, but I don't see the, I thought there was a road that went up farther. That's why I was trying to go up this road. I thought there was a road that went up closer to the foothills to start. I wouldn't want to do it now, but it'd be interesting to climb Langley from this side. But I better do it from Horseshoe Meadow side first. That's a lot easier and it's still not easy. This would be a two or three day trek. Okay, let's get up on a prominent spot here. I don't even see the road down there anymore. I think it probably just stopped. There's Alabama Hills again. Lone Pine's right on the other side of them. Whitney is probably straight back from here, but it's blocked by this mountain. And again, one last look at Langley before we head down. Halfway to my truck, and the lighting is getting nicer looking this way. Alabama Hills are standing out more. It was nice to stretch my legs tonight before going to hit the, hit the sack. Morning guys, I'm just outside of Big Pine, on my way to Mammoth. Let me turn the camera around here. Thought I'd stop and take a gander at the snowpack in the Sierras. Ever since, ever since Lone Pine, this is what you saw, just tons of snow on the mountain. Now, if this was just after a storm, that'd be one thing. But that's deep snow. There's probably the equivalent of, well, right now the average is right around 60 inches of water in the Southern Sierras. But we're on the Eastern side, so we're probably a little less here, but there's probably, let's say, there's three to four feet of water there in that snow bank. It's all gonna melt and come down into the valley here. Right out here somewhere is where they divert the water. Uh, the LA Department of Water and Power diverts the water out of the out of the Owens River. Sorry for all the traffic but uh, and it's about the 4,000 foot level that they take the water out and it flows by gravity all the way to the San Fernando Valley. Another thing of note here is the Paiute Reservation here. There's several reservations. Uh, I, I don't know how they're all associated, but there's several in the valley here. And the Paiute Indians were around here, and you, if you go farther south and east, it was the Shoshone. Anyway, back in the car and on our way. One last look at the snow. Okay, we're at Sherman Summit, 7,000 feet. And uh, there's some snow by the side of the road, but nothing, nothing very much, nothing too much. So just want to give you guys an idea of what the snow was like as you came up. 
stopped here off of 395 for the turnoff to Crowley Lake and this is May 1st look at the lake it's still frozen all the way across I don't see any blue water and it looks kind of low they must be keeping it low right now to shave off the peak when the big melt does come but I thought I'd stop here and show you guys what the view is from here I'm headed up to Mammoth to go skiing, as you probably surmise by now, but I'm in no rush. Uh, I'm just going to ski a little bit today. i got to get my season pass uh, activated. And uh, the snow is going to, it's still pretty warm today. It's like 50 something in the car right now. We're at 7,000 feet or so. and. Uh, yeah, so the snow is going to be pretty soft already, probably. But I'll get a little bit of skiing in today. It's supposed to get better this week. It's supposed to have a little bit of snow. and So it would be nice to have cooler, crisper snow in the morning. And a fresh layer on top of it would be nice. Okay, let's keep going. Hi guys, I'm up here at Chair 11 at Mammoth, and uh, hey, let me turn the camera around. Yeah, I got up here, The it was cloudy, it's been cloudy all morning, it's, all, it's about noon right now, a little past noon actually, and uh, the snow is uh, right here, it's it's soft. I don't think it ever froze here last night. And uh, not too bad though. It's not super wet because it's probably in the low 30s right now. And with the, this cloud cover, it's kept the snow from turning into slush so far. I, I did a couple runs just to warm up my legs here on the beginner uh, chairlift. And then I went over to Broadway and that was scary as heck. It was so... It's almost a white out here, but it was a complete white out up there. Even with my amber goggles, I couldn't see a thing. You know, and when you, you know, in a white out, when you stop, you don't can't tell if you're level or not, especially when you're old like me. And oh man, I limped all the way down. And on the top of Broadway, it was icy, so it definitely froze up there last night. And then once you, I went. To the right, I forget what those runs are, but uh, then when I met up with Broadway, Broadway again on the lower part, it was soft. The snow was soft, so it was icy about two thirds of the way down. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a few more runs here just to get my sea legs warmed up and uh, call it a day and go check into the hotel.